Hello and welcome to another Force Point Tech Talk episode. My name is Nick Sohaki, and in this episode we will be going through a quick demo of the Force Point CASB app discovery component. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have ideas for another video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to show your support for this channel. Enjoy! The Forcepoint CASB solution provides your organization visibility and control over cloud applications. A cloud data protection program helps your organization identify where your data resides, who has access to your data, and what is being done with your data. The Forcepoint CASB offering is purpose-built to help extend your data protection program into cloud applications. The app discovery component provides an organization visibility into which cloud applications are in use throughout the organization. This is possible through an integration with the Forcepoint Web Security Solution or through firewall logs. This summary report provides your organization an in-depth overview into which applications are in use by your users. This report also shows the risk of discovered cloud applications so that your organization can understand the risk associated with each application. We'll talk more about this later. Here within the app discovery report, we can see the discovery summary section which outlines the number of apps, users, IPs, the volume of data, and the overall risk based on discovered cloud apps. We can see this medium overall risk level is based on seven high risk applications, 25 medium risk applications, and 17 low risk applications. On this page, we can also see the recommended actions section, which shows a list of the high risk apps that were found and provides you the ability to either block access to them through Forcepoint or through a third party. In this section, we can also select the managed apps button to quickly and easily assign one or more of the discovered cloud apps as a managed asset. When an app becomes a managed asset, the CASB solution is able to provide your organization with more app specific visibility and control over the app. We'll dive more into these app-specific controls in another video, so keep an eye out for that. The analytics section is where we can see a breakdown of the service locations, apps by category, apps by department, and the data volume per app. The service locations show where the cloud app servers are located so that you know where your organization's data is being stored. When an app becomes a managed asset, you are able to define which service locations your users can use to connect to each cloud app. The Trends section shows you graphs over time relating to the overall risk, cloud apps in use, users accessing cloud apps, IPs, and data volume. This can help show how your organization has been transitioning to cloud apps and using more of them over time. The last section, and in my opinion, the most important, is the cloud apps list. On this list, we can see all of the cloud apps that were discovered listed by activity. With this, we can dive into specific applications to understand the risk level, category, description, and user activity. For example, if we select the Application Details button for Office 365, then we can see a detailed report for Office 365. On this detail report, we can see the number of users, IPs, data volume, and number of activities for Office 365. There are some charts here, similar to what we saw in the previous report, but this specifically shows the service locations, the hourly usage, the top departments, and probably the most important, the admins that have access to Office 365. We also have some actions available here on the left that allow us to block the application or convert it to a managed asset. The application risk category section is where you can see an in-depth breakdown of how the risk level is assigned to Office 365. If we expand the compliance category, we can see whether or not Office 365 meets these different industry compliance standards. Each line item has a default risk weight assigned to it, but this can be customized to fit your organizational requirements. Another important category is the security settings category, which focuses on the authentication practices that are supported by Office 365. For example, we can see which authentication types are supported, or if the app requires two-factor authentication or MFA. The last category worth mentioning is the data leakage category, which shows the data practices or standards that the application allows. For instance, Office 365 allows public sharing, which is perceived as a high-risk setting since sensitive data could be shared with public users. All of the details, controls, and customization options that we just saw for Office 365 are available for any other application that was discovered through the app discovery process. The last thing I would like to mention during this demo is the Cloud App Directory, which is sort of a hidden bonus or feature that we have. If we select the Cloud App Directory button, 
then we are presented with a list of all cloud apps that have been identified by the Forcepoint CASB service. This cloud app directory report can be used to compare, investigate, or research cloud applications. For example, from the app discovery report, we identified seven high-risk cloud apps, one of which was WeTransfer. We can search for the WeTransfer app in the cloud app directory and dive into it to investigate what this application does and why it's risky. Now that we've opened up this app in the cloud app directory, we can see a description of what the app does, and we can see the risk factors associated with this app. Now that we have investigated this app, we can compare this against other apps to find one that provides similar functionality but has a lower risk level associated with it. When we select the Compare with Other Apps button and the Compare button underneath the Alternative Apps, then we can hit the Go button to see a side-by-side -side comparison of each application. This comparison window allows you to see a breakdown of the risk categories between each cloud application as well. Thanks for watching this episode where we were able to take a detailed look at the app discovery or shadow IT report within the Forcepoint CASB solution. If you have any questions or have ideas for another video, then please leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to show your support for this channel. See you next time.